experienced it firsthand. That's great. Here our crew is getting out of those Rivians. They're about to get staged for the ring road photo with their rocket. Because if you didn't take a photo with your rocket, you didn't go to space. You didn't go to space. <laughs> and they're in very good hands with our amazing photographer, Felix. And like Laura said earlier, it's so amazing to see a full crew of six today, the original six, accompanied by, of course, their crew member, seven. Okay, this is one of my favorites. You gotta see what everybody's <laughs> special pose. <laughs> Been practicing those rocket poses there. I'm encouraged by this high energy crew. This yeah. is looking great. <laughs> Even running back to the Laura Rivian is there. running <laughs> back to the Rivian. I love that. Our crew is gonna get back into the Rivians for the last time before they get into the New Shepard crew capsule. Our crew is coming up here on the launch tower. Next up, as you guys can anticipate, the crew is gonna get out of those Rivians and crew member seven, Kevin Sprogue, is gonna help walk our crew up that launch tower. I remember the first time I ever climbed up the launch tower. It is much higher than, it, than I think <laughs> it looks in the camera, but since we have such a high energy crew, I'm sure they're gonna be up there in no time. Laura, I know you've seen some of the astronaut training process. Can you give us a little more color on how crew member seven there in the black flight suit is shepherding this journey for the crew? Sure, Jackie. So crew member seven is noted before, really is the seventh member of this crew. So they're with the astronauts from when they arrived down here in West Texas until they're safely in their seats, which is now just moments away. <laughs> Uh, and that hatch is closed. And then after the flight, they again are there to meet them just moments after touchdown. So during the day's pre-launch, crew member seven is responsible for providing the training for nominal launch day, as well as uh, how the astronauts would stay safe if anything off nominal happened. So the astronauts have learned a bit about the New Shepard subsystems. They've used a training capsule to practice things like ingress and securing their harnesses and learned about how to maneuver in zero gravity. As best they can as here on Earth, right? <laughs> as best you can yes. <laughs> on Earth, that's right. Uh, so yeah, by time these future astronauts have spent their pre-launch days in this training, they will have a lot of confidence and we will have a lot of confidence that they will be safe and ready to have just the ride of their lives. We certainly have a very prepared crew that's also in great hands with Kevin and Sarah. If you're looking at the top of the launch tower right now, that's the next stop um, on our crew's path to the capsule. That's the safety shelter on top of the ascent tower here. And Felix getting some great shots of them as they head into the shelter. The crew is gonna stand by in the shelter and await that ingress across the bridge, then the gantry into the crew capsule. Our crew is looking great right now. They're looking very ready to fly. That might be record time. Getting so, up the oh my gosh. Tower. Look, <laughs> several thumbs up. Oh, definitely some excitement here. Yeah, so you saw them there just a second ago taking the booties off their shoes, and this is because we want to keep as clean, pristine of an environment inside the crew capsule as possible. Obviously, it's a little bit 
dusty here in West Texas. Um, so now they are essentially all prepped in their flight suits and their flight shoes and ready to go. With their special guest, of course, our founder, Jeff Bezos, in the security safety shelter with them. Very excited. You know, last time he was up there, we were worried he was going to try and, and go with the right. second human flight crew, but all six seats are full today, so that's not going to be an option. <laughs>